everyone, Tutu Mora here with some more tips to help you feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. So today we are going to work on opening those hips a little bit while at the same time engaging those lower abdominals, which is a spot that we all want to, you know, keep fit and active. So all you'll need is a mat. You don't need any props. So I'll meet you there in just a moment. Okay. Take off your shoes and go ahead and lay down. You'll want your feet about hip distance apart and a little bit away from your sit bones. And so to start, let's just take a few deep breaths as we always do, giving ourselves a chance just to arrive in the body. Letting that breath come all the way down into that low belly, just filling up your whole torso. Maybe this is the first time today that you've really taken a big, deep breath. So just let yourself have it. And so we're gonna start by taking a pelvic curl here. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to just gently lengthen through the tailbone and curl that tailbone up as if it's gonna come up towards the back of the knee. So tilting that pelvis up and then bringing it back down to the mat. So tilting it up and bringing it back down to the mat. Let's take that a couple more times. Tilting it up, tailbone lengthening, towards the back of the knees, and then setting everything back down. One more time. And so what we're gonna do, you're gonna start by lengthening one leg. So I'm gonna lengthen out my left leg. Your right leg, thigh is gonna come in towards you, knee towards your nose. And so for now, you're gonna take, so we've got our, our right uh, leg bent, you're gonna take your right hand and just grasp that thigh here. Your left hand is gonna come around to cradle the back of your head. So we're gonna take a little lift here, but I don't want you to lift with your head. I want you to see if you can lift with your rib cage. So um, kind of that lower strap of the bra that sits across the chest, right about here. I want that to be what's reaching towards your thigh. So you're gonna take yourself into a chest lift here, but again, let yourself, let that head rest heavy in the hand as you reach through that bra strap, that rib cage wanting to meet that thigh, and then rest back down. And so let's take that two more times bra strap, rib cage, reaching for that thigh. Resting back down, keeping that chin tucked slightly, head heavy in the hand. Bra strap, reaching for that thigh, back down. And now we're gonna take one more and we're gonna hold it there for two breaths. So letting yourself come up, Keep that head resting heavy in the hand. So reaching and lifting through that bra strap. And now hold for two deep breaths. Letting this leg, the thigh that's in your hand, let that leg sink into the hip socket as you hold and breathe. And resting back down. So now we're gonna switch. Now your left arm, your left hand's gonna grasp that thigh, and your right hand is gonna come around to cradle the back of your head. And so we're gonna do the exact same thing, just switch with the arms. So let that head rest heavy in the hand, reaching up, lifting through that bra strap rib cage, reaching for the thigh, letting the head remain heavy in the hand, and back down. Two more times. Last one, let that head stay resting in the hand, 
Really let that reach come from that bra strap across the rib cage. So last one, we're gonna hold for two deep breaths. While you're holding and breathing, let that leg sink into the back of the hip socket. And resting back down. So now, you can stretch that leg out long. Bend both legs again, and let's take another pelvic curl. So lengthening through that tailbone, curling up. And so noticing how that feels from side to side. Maybe the side that we just worked feels a little bit looser, a little bit more mobile, a little bit more open through the hips or through that side of the pelvis, that one hip socket. So taking another pelvic curl here, just feeling into that difference, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. So go ahead and stretch that right leg out now. You can bring that left leg in, knee towards the nose, and we're gonna go with that same side, grasping the thigh. And so again, letting yourself reach from that bra strap, from that rib cage, as if the rib cage wants to meet the thigh versus jutting out with your head. So keeping that head resting heavy through the hand. So let's start taking this up and letting that leg rest heavy through that back of the hip socket. Two more times. You might notice that one side is a little bit harder than the other. So if one side feels more difficult, that's totally normal. And now we're going to hold this one for two breaths. Again, letting that leg rest heavy through the back of the hip socket. here. Opposite hand grasping the thigh while that other hand cradles the back of your head. So now again we're bringing the rib cage in towards the thigh. We're not letting the head meet the thigh. So keep that head resting heavily into your hand. We'll take it up three times and then we'll hold on the fourth. So on this next one, we'll hold it up. Let that leg rest heavy through the back of the hip socket. Reaching through with that bra strap, that rib cage. And resting back down. You can stretch that leg out. And then bending both legs here. Let's take that pelvic curl again. Feel into that difference. I know that feels a lot better on my end. Let's take one more nice one. Letting that breath come all the way down, really filling the length of your torso. Let yourself have a nice deep breath. Bring that fresh oxygen into all those spaces we loosened up. And then you can go ahead and carefully roll over onto your side. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you feel a little bit better, a little bit looser, more present in your body and ready to go about your day. So I'll see you here next time on the Wise YouTube channel with more tips and tools to help you feel well 
in your body, mind, and spirit.